Hey, Strong Girls United. My name is Busy Gondering. I um, am part of the board of directors at Strong Girls, and uh, I play volleyball in college at Assumption College in Worcester, Mass. I currently coach a volleyball club team here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and I'm coming to you to teach you a couple volleyball skills that you can do at home while you're stuck inside uh, during this crazy time in our world. So going to go through the basic skills, some things you can do to practice those skills um, with or without a volleyball. I'll do a little bit of both and um, just really basic things if you want to kind of learn the basics of volleyball and stuff like that. So let's get started. The most important skill of volleyball that I think is the most important is passing. So when you pass in volleyball, you want your feet to be shoulder width apart. So you can see that my legs are kind of straight down from my hips. You want to be kind of on the balls of your feet, almost like your weight forward, and you want to be low. You don't want to be bent over like this because you can't really see that well. And you don't want to be sitting up like this because the ball's going to go straight up if you pass it. You want to be shoulders down a little bit like here. Your platform is going to be out nice and strong in front of you. And your hands, some people fold their hands like this. So a fist and cover it. Some people fold their hands like this and straight like this. I've always done it this way. Some people say this way is better. Uh, kind of pick your preference. So I'm going to have my hands like this right here. And this is my pla passing pa platform. If you have someone in the house that can help you, come around. Try to push your platform down. So we're on a really strong platform. You want to push back up at that person because you got to be really nice and strong when you pass the volleyball, right? So I want my shoulders down like here. And every time I pass the ball, what do I say? I call mine or I say I got it. So I'll say mine and here. Really basic. So one of the drills you could do with this with or without a ball that can kind of get your heart rate moving too is just a, a simple shuffle and pass. So I'm going to be on this side of the room. I'm going to say mine, pull my platform apart, shuffle, mine, shuffle, mine, shuffle, mine. Awesome. If you do have a ball and you have someone that can help you, you could toss, they could toss to you. So every time you're over here, mine, you could pass it back, mine, you could pass it back. Now, if you do have a ball, passing it back, a couple of things. You don't want to swing your arms, so you don't want to, you don't want to be here. You want to go up with your legs and push the ball up here and you want to keep those shoulders kind of down at this angle, right? So I'm going to pass like this, say mine, shuffle pass like this, say mine. You see how my arms aren't swinging? And you see when I'm shuffling, my hands are apart, not way out here, but right here. Mine, I'm going to pass like this. Awesome. First skill, really easy to practice with those shuffle moves and something you'll do on the volleyball court too. A lot of shuffling. Awesome. Now the next skill I'm going to come a little closer is setting. So in volleyball, I was never the best setter, but um, if you have really good hands, if you have really good touch, you'd probably be a really good setter. So the most important thing with setting, you want to get loaded here and kind of make a triangle, but pull your hands apart here, and then you're going to flip them like this. So this is a good way to practice, just right in front of you. Now, when you flip your hands, you don't want them to come apart like here, like you're waving. We don't want to wave at people. We want to be nice and strong here. Some people say it's like drinking a soda bottle. You put up your head, take a nice drink, or a water bottle to be a little healthier. Drink here. So just this kind of practice move to help with their setting, super important. Now, when you set, we want to set from our foreheads. We don't want to be setting from our chest down here, or else the ref will probably call it lift. We want to set way up on our forehead so you can still kind of see your fingers and you can see through that hole that you've made and perfect like that. Now the next thing with setting, once you're here and you flip up, is when you extend your arms to set the ball, we don't want to flick our hands or else it's going to roll off our hands kind of funny. And we don't want to do this because we're not, you know, doing dance moves, we're just setting the ball. So all you have to do is extend your elbows. Do you see when I do this? My hands stay the same. My hands stay the same. My hands aren't flicking. 
I played a lot of basketball growing up, so sometimes my right hand would flick like a basketball. My coach would always yell at me. So I got taught really, really hard to just keep them like this together. Nice and simple. Now, if you have a ball, like I do, really easy to practice setting. You could practice it with someone just tossing to you and you set back to them. You see how my hands aren't moving? Now, if you don't have a ball, something you could do is setting too, just like passing, um, but our footwork's a little different. So we don't wanna shuffle as much when we're setting. We wanna plant our feet so our left leg here is in back and our right leg is a little bit in front. I'm gonna step back so you can guys can see that a little better. My left leg is back, my right leg is, is in front because when we set, we get kind of close to the net and we don't wanna be setting facing the net. We wanna be setting a little bit facing our side of the court. So when I run up, something you could do practice setting is say, my, my, mine, stop and plant. And I'm gonna angle this down a little bit, stop and plant. So my right leg's a little bit in front. And like this. Mine, set. Mine, set. Mine, set. If you want to get a little bit more of a workout, feel free to do like a little sprint. Mine, set. Shuffle back. Mine, set. Shuffle back. Awesome. Passing, setting, two really important things. Now, the fun part, which I think is the most fun part of volleyball, is hitting. I was a hitter in college. Um, it's really fun to get up and get a really big kill and everyone's cheering and you feel really cool about yourself. So I'm going to go over a little bit of hitting too. Now with hitting, the first thing you want to learn is your approach. So if you're right-handed like me, your approach is simply left, right, left. So I'm going to take my first step left, right, left. Now, did anyone notice how, uh, the timing with my steps was a little different? My first one is slow. My second two were quick. I'm going to do that again. Left, right, left. Now, if you're a lefty, you go right, left, right. It's a little harder for me because I'm not a lefty. So I'm going to go right, left, right. Got it? Right, slow, left, right. Now, you might be wondering, how come we do our first step slower and our second two steps a little quicker? Well, when we do our first step, we're kind of reading the set. So our setters are not always going to set a perfect ball, and that's okay. We want to see where the ball is going to be. So if I'm a hitter and the ball's coming way past me, my first step is slow to get to it, and the next two are quicker, so I can explode and jump super high. If my ball is right in front of me, I see it, and I go quick. Awesome. Um, obviously, really, really easy way to practice that around your house, doing approaches. Call the ball always, mine, get up and hit it. Now the next thing with hitting is our arms. So when we do our approach, when we do our steps, our, we want our arms to be kind of loose into our side. We don't want to be up here. We don't want to be out like an airplane. We want to be nice and calm. So if you see my arms, when I take my first step, they're doing nothing. Quiet arms, quiet. And then where are they? They kind of back like an airplane a little bit, yep. So your first step, quiet arms, second one, to get that power. So when you do your approaches, let's say you do 10, just straight with your legs. The next two, I want to do work on your arms. So quiet, and then just bring them up. I guess it's harder to see. So when you bring them up, you're here. Bring them up, here. So that's the second step. So first one, 10 approaches with just your feet. Second one, 10 approaches with those arms. Now the third one, the third modification you could add if you're ready, is the steps, arms. Now when you bring your arms back to hit, you want your hitting arm, your elbow way back here, kind of like a bow and arrow. So one way to practice that, you don't even have to do approaches with it, you could just do this, like you're doing a bow and arrow. I want my elbow way back because my shoulders and my arms are nice and strong, and I want to use all that power to come on top of the ball. So up here, and down, up here, and down. The last step with hitting is you wanna get on top of the ball. When you come through, snap that wrist. You see how I'm snapping as I come through. So you do that approach, come up, snap on top. So one way to do that is if you don't have a volleyball, but if you have like a, a mini ball like this, or a tennis ball, you get up, just throw it straight at the ground, 
Get up, throw it straight at the ground. Arm swing, super important. Up, throw it straight at the ground. Now, if you wanna bring them all together, which I'm not gonna do the third part because I'm in a bedroom, I don't wanna break any windows. I'm gonna go here, and that's when I would throw it at the ground. Great, so passing, setting, hitting, the three most basic, the most important skills in volleyball. Volleyball is a lot of repetition. It's a lot of little movements. Um, it's a lot of stuff you could do at home. So I would say, take all the skills you learned today, practice them over and over. So we had the shuffle and pass, we had the sprint and set with all those movements, and we had all the approaches and the swings. So once you get those down, you're pretty good to go with the fundamentals. Um, I hope everyone's staying safe in this crazy time. I hope everyone's staying active, staying strong. I love strong girls. I think that it's such an empowering organization. So continue to use it during this time, especially if you're feeling like you're a little restless in the house and you need stuff to do. Check out these videos. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this volleyball instructional video with v me, Coach Busy, and uh, I'll see you guys soon.